something that we have to come together as brothers and sisters, as the one united church for the one true living God. And pray for these people and bless them and shower them with love. And we need to know that it is very important and it is right here, right now. Ecclesiastes 11, verse 9 to 10. Rejoice, young man, during your childhood, and let your heart be pleasant during the days of young manhood. And follow the ways of your heart and the sights of your eyes. Yet know that God will bring you to judgment for all these things. So remove grief and anger from your heart, and put away evil from your body. Because childhood and the prime of life is Half the younger generation of our nation, Lord, are leaving our shores to fight for ISIS and for other terrorist groups. Lord, we just bring this matter before you, God, and you know the diplomacy and the conditioning, Lord, you know exactly what's going on in our hearts. The Lord says to my Lord, sit at my right hand until I make your enemies a footstool for your feet. The Lord will extend your mighty scepter from Zion, saying, Rule in the midst of your enemies. Your troops will be willing on this your day of battle. Arrayed in holy splendor, your young men will come to you like dew from the morning's womb. The Lord has sworn and will not change his mind. You are a priest forever in the order of Melchizedek. The Lord is at your right hand. He will crush kings on the day of his wrath. He will judge the nations, heaping up the dead and crushing the rulers of the whole earth. He will drink from a brook along the way, and so will he will live. Father God, Lord, we come before you. We come before you because you have loved us, and you loved us before we loved you. Lord, we know that there are men from right here on these very shores whose hearts burn for another cause. And Father God, some of them have fled these lands and have gone to fight and to cast evil on this world. Father God, we pray that as they go into warfare, that the war that is won is the war for their soul, Father God. We pray that they run and they will meet people with such abundant faith as the brothers we prayed for earlier, Father God, that their faith will shine in their face and they will see. Now at this point in time, I want to call forward the young men that are here tonight. I want to call you all forward to come forward so that you can be praying here in this place for those that we're reaching out to. So that together as one voice, we can pray for those that we want to see change. That we can together pray and see those hearts turn around. So I invite you all forward. Father, your kingdom come in this country, Lord. Lord, we ask you to strengthen your church so we can be light and soul in this world. Amen. Lord, keep it coming. Father God, would you move through this place, Lord Father God, and may your light shine brightly, Lord, that no one can deny that you are Lord and Savior of this world. Lord Father, we have to trust that you can change the world. We can change all these people as we change the world.